थोड़े घी कमा दो
belief is found in uh, cypress plant or in the gymnosperm. plant. When is the foliage and settlement in the scaly leaf? In jingo, the leaves are fan shaped. Okay, jingo is only called the Tamilamilla fan shaped leaves. Then in pinus, the leaves are really or very reduced, and this is called reduced leaf and the type of leaf is the needle leaf. Okay. Then uh, in the classification, we should know we should know the position of this plant. That is systematic position of the plant. So first of all, division. What it is also called as uh, okay, division, gymnosperm or cyclophyte. Uh, why or what are the characteristics of this group? Uh, or the division, vessels are absent and ovules are decayed. Okay, what is vessel? Vessel is a component of vascular bundle. Okay, especially xylem or phloem. Xylem. Okay, practice and vessel are the component of the xylem. That is a vessel. Is absent, but ovules are naked. And naked ovules, it is the characteristics of this group. Then, class cyclopsida. Monozygous, large from like leaves. Okay? Monozygous, that is a. Yes, anybody? What is monozygous? Less compact. Okay, so it means less from compact. And large from like leaves are present. From like leaves, that means we already learned about the pterodomatic leaf. Front natural mind, sir. Pterodomatic leaf, just the telephone. Front of the general. And they are front like leaves. Uh, so, palm tree, uh, essentially, this is one like the front. Okay, but generally, it is not called front. Front is specially terminology for pterodactyl plant, and so it is called front like leaf. Then, all the cycles plant or we stem is unbranched. Plant is woody and stem is unbranched. Why we are uh, taking all the cycles? Because we are going to learn about the cycles. Uh, so, we take the cycles only. Plants are we and stem is unbranched. There is no branching pattern observed in this group. Family cycle is see. Why family cycle is see? The character is that there is a presence of chlorolite roots. Chlorolite roots is the characteristics of cycle is see family. These roots are found in these roots are found in cycles. Okay. Then general cycles, diplozygic vascular bundle in the leaf and two types of the leaf. That is a leaf dimorphism. And diplozygic vascular bundle, that means the vascular bundle, different type of vascular bundle are found in cycles. Okay. Uh, next after the next. Uh, this is the external morphology uh, of the plant. <coughs> The cycle is sporophytic and it is dioecious in nature. What is sporophytic? That means whatever the plant we are looking here or in the early slide, that is a welcome slide. This plant shows, this plant shows sporophytic plant body. That means diploid plant body. Then uh, it is dioecious in nature. That means there are different male and female plants. So, you can see there, there are different two types of the plant, that is male and female plant. This is called dioecious plant. That means male will produce on different plant, female will produce on different plant. This is the characteristics of this uh, plant. Then roots are two types, normal and coralite type of root. Two types of the root, normal root and coralite type of root. Normal root, these are the primary root. Okay. But afterwards, there is a development of secondary roots and it turns into the coralline root and these are the roots called coralline type of the root. Uh, you may see these are the uh, massive structure of the roots and which are having several characteristics. That means they are associated with some of the alga. Okay, uh, they may be during alga. And as they are associated with the algae, they are takes part into the nitrogen fixation. Okay, that takes part in the nitrogen fixation as well as they gather the chromatin for the plant. Uh, as Sir mentioned, carbonates are held in the nitrogen fixation. Then above the stem is erect, columnar, woody, and unbranched. Okay, finally we are looking also the morphological characteristics of the plant. Okay, that is we are seeing the initial morphology. So stem is erect, columnar, and woody. Okay, and it is unbranched in nature. 
Next is the leaf. Uh, leaves are dimorphism or dimorphic type of the leaf, and this is called two type of the leaf. First is uh, what we call foliage. Okay, first one is the foliage leaf, while second one is the scaly leaf. Foliage leaves, these are the foliage leaves. Whatever we are seeing here, these are the all foliage type of the leaf. Why the scaly leaves, which are alternating to the foliage leaves? Okay. Alternating to the foliage leaves and these are the microstructure present here because uh, they are uh, not the expanded photosynthesis, so they are not in green color. But they are looking in the brownish color and they are alternating of each one of the plant leaf. Okay, each one of the plant leaf. Uh, this is the crown of leaf. This is the crown of leaf and these are the natural leaf. Surrounding to the crown of leaf. Next alternating crown of this scaly leaves. Next, uh, this is the general morphology. In A, you are looking here the corolla type of the roots and the B, uh, this is the stem of the cycles plant where there are several structure is present which is an irregular one and several shape is there. And these are the scars. These are the scars uh, or the marks. Hmm? Scars uh, present on the stem and this scars is of Leaf. Okay, and so it is called leaf scar. When you describe any stem of the cycle, then you have to be know about this. Scars of the leaf are present on entire stem. Uh, now, the scars of the foliage leaves, <coughs> and these are the scars of the scaly leaves. You may distinctly show or uh, there is a distinctly difference in between them. Then, this is total term, and this is the scar structure present on it. And this scars is when the scars present, when there is leaf fall occurs. When uh, during the uh, when the leaves are matured, when the leaf will be falls out. Okay. And whatever the remaining structure is, this is the scars of the leaf. Maximum palm trees. For example, example, example of any palm trees which show this such kind of the scars. I'm just going to that. We have already learned about this. We come on to the second year of the plant. Phoenix. Okay. Phoenix is the plant which shows such kind of scars. Then C is the scaly leaf. Okay. C is the scaly leaf. This is the coil leaf that is called sarsinate leaf. It is called sarsinate leaf. That is when it is in inflammation, the leaves are coiled inside. The leaflets are coiled inside and so it is called sarsinate type of the leaf and this is the mature leaf which is differentiated into petiole then branches and the whole leaflets and these leaflets are present on either side of the leaf which are green in color and they are side. okay that means there is a uh, this is petiole this is the petiole or is also which are called as a main axis of the leaf so this is the uh, simple uh, one project of the plant. Next. Uh, again, next. These are the characteristics we already learned about them. Now, the anatomy of the root. We have learned about the root anatomy. And this is the simple root. This is the simple root. And the root will uh, show, this is the short typical structure uh, like a diaper plant. Then, outermost layer is called epiglema, which is enclosed in the pyrocanonous cortex. This is the cortex region. Okay, this is the cortical region, and the outer region is called as epiglema. It is not called epidermis. Why? Because it is the structure of root. So, it is called as epiglema. Okay, next is the pyrocanonous cortex, interspread with the tannin cell and the mucilage canal. This is the mucilage canal. Okay. And the tannins build inside the cortical zone, or there are several regions. We are not diagrammatic presentation here, but just only transfer section of this plant. Roots. There is no diagrammatic, that means uh, cellular structure is not here, but it is a diagrammatic, that means transfer section simply taken, and this is the original transfer section of the root. Endodermis with castorians, kidney. This is the region in the endodermis. Okay, and this. This is for steel actually and it is covered by the endodermis. It is covered with the endodermis and endodermis is with having casparian 
it means this castellian it is a check point this is the structure for the check point of the water when water will be enter then it should be a check here okay and so that this is castellian structure the pericycle is a vertical with the self having starch grain but the pericycle after endodermis there is a one of the layer of the cell which is called pericycle okay which is present inside of the endodermis okay should have to be remind this that means this is the endodermis okay and then inside of this endodermis next layer is called pericycle and then uh, this pericycle is with starch grains okay then vascular tissue within this typical radial root situated area is that formed in polyarch okay then vessels absent in vascular bundle p is reduced or absent yachamade it absent sanitla ki ma reduce in the structure this is central it is called p actually but it is very reduced manje khup kami zalela hai also it can be absent or we can consider it as a very small one and vessels are absent as we earlier known about this kiwa apne ji information pehle ghetle bhi we know that vessels are absent trachea and vessels are the element of xylem and see vessels is absent but trachea is present okay uh, this is the key difference between angiosperm and gymnosperm next uh, now uh, second is the carotid type of the root second is the carotid type of the root uh, now this root is divided into three region outer middle and inner zone outer okay see outer middle and inner zone the inner most zone the inner most zone is made from the algal zone or these are the palisades which are in the palisade like cell uh, made from the cortical cell cortical cell which are packed like this such a cells packed packed like this which are like this but there is a presence of several blue green algae in the structure there is a presence of blue green algae in the cell of structure and this blue green algae can fix the nitrogen okay they are present in this region called inner zone inner zone mane ka asta ya present asta so these are the carotid root key characteristics of the cycles plant okay next is the anatomy of the stem after roots this anatomy of the stem this is general outline structure of the stem now It shows the regular outline due to the presence of the bases. Therefore, epidermis is not a continuous layer. See, these are the leaf traces. You can encounter them as the leaf traces, and these leaf traces are present from the epidermal region. And so, epidermis is not continuous, but it is interrupted with the leaf bases or traces. So, it it appears by like the irregular structure. It appears by like irregular structure then broad cortex is transverse by the simple and golden leaf traces this is the cortex okay this is the cortex having the golden of leaf traces see these are the leaf traces present inside this because it is not the only leaf traces but they are originating they are originating from the cortex zone and now uh, numerous miscellaneous kind of starch grains also present inside this structure see uh you can see here the dotted structure okay they are the dotted structure and the dotted structure are the miscellaneous channel or star grains then narrow zone of vascular tissue is having open and dark vascular bundle are in green and separated from each other by the void medullary rays see here uh, this is the narrow region of the vascular bundle this is the vascular bundle having open and endarched why it is called open Open that means when vascular bundle is comprises, it is with the, it is with the. See, vascular bundle consists of xylem. Okay. okay. What is the key component? That is responsible for this secondary role. Am I not clear? Yes. Sang sang. Wrong wrong. Now. Who is that? The key component present in between the xylem and phloem, and they continuously add secondary xylem and secondary yeah. phloem. Huh? Yeah. Very good. This is the called cambium. Okay, and this cambium is the responsible factor for the secondary growth. Okay, cambium. This is the key characteristic of the open vascular bundle. When we see the open vascular bundle, it is because of the 
प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैम्बियम इनसाइड इज बट कैम्बियम प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन जाइलेन एंड फ्लोइड दिस इज आल्सो दी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज द फर्स्ट रीजन नाउ इट इज लास्ट कैरी कैमेटस एंड मिसेज कैन एंड स्टार्चेस दिस इज द फ्लोइड एंड दिस इज द जाइलेन सी दिस इज द जाइलेन एंड दिस इज द फ्लोइड फ्लोइड एंड जाइलेन जाइलेन इज प्रेजेंट इन द इनसाइड ऑफ द पिन व्हाई फ्लोइड फ्लोइड इज आउटसाइड द Okay, this is the first ring cell. This is the first ring cell, and this is the second ring cell. There will be a third ring cell. Okay, that means it depends on the girth of the stem, and it will be bigger than that. These are the girth of the ring cells, as you know. Okay, next. Yes. Uh, this is generally the structure of uh, stem. Then anatomy of the rachis. <coughs> We have not taken here. Uh, The classical section of the rachis, but generally, uh, see this is several characteristics of it. It is woody and thick, hypodermis. Rachis that means what is rachis? It is the axis of leaf. It is a leaflet, leaf vessel. Hmm? Leaf is the main axis. It is the main axis of the leaf. Uh, this is the main axis of the leaf, and these are the leaflets. These are the two leaflets, and this is the main axis called the rachis. Uh, hypodermis is clear examples. It is characteristic. Uh, फ्यूचर ऑफ दी इस शेप की जो ओमेगा आउटलाइन वी ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट इट व्हाट इज द ओमेगा स्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज़ व्हेन वी टेक द सेक्शन ऑफ इट देन देयर आर टू दीस आर द टू लीफलेट्स एंड व्हेन वी टेक द सेक्शन ऑफ इट द टू लीफलेट्स विल बी फॉर्म लाइक ओमेगा एक्शन सो इट्स कॉल्ड ओमेगा एक्शन इन आउटलाइन स्ट्रक्चर व्हेन वी टेक द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ इट इस बंडल हैज क्लियर जाम इन बंडल से एंड इट्स ओपन कोलाइड अगेन इट इज ओपन एंड कोलाइड व्हेन यू हैव वेस्कुलर बंडल Vascular bundle is open and collateral. Collateral that means it is the lung of the collateral. Collateral that means hilum uh, inside of the mouse. Next, this is the anatomy of the leaf. Leaflet is thick, cutilized and leathery. Uh, see, this is the cuticle present on the surface of the leaf. This is the outermost layer. Cuticle is thick layer uh, which is leathery and covers the entire leaf. So it is. It look like a smooth and shiny. It appears like a smooth and shiny. It is just because of the presence of cuticle. Then uh, next is the epidermis. This is called epidermis. But as we know that this plant leaf is isovalent. Okay, leaf is bilateral in shape. So it comprises with the upper epidermis and this is the lower epidermis. Okay, upper epidermis and lower epidermis. And below this upper upper epidermis is Continuous upper epidermis is continuous, and this continuous layer will be uh, present on the upper leaf surface. Then below that there is a several bunch of cells. It is called parasitic cell, and these cells are nothing but they are mesophyll cells. Okay, they are mesophyll cells. Why they are called mesophyll cells? Because they are dumbbell shaped cells. And above this, there is a layer of hypodermis cell which comes under the epidermis, and it is single cell layer. Okay, it is single cell and continue, continuous layer. Why the parasites are also the bigger uh, cell? These are the cell with so complex structure. There is no inner epidermis is present. Then below that, this is the structure which is circular in outline. It is called vascular. Bundle. This circular outline structure is called vascular bundle, which is comprised of the xylem and this is the phloem. This is xylem. This is the phloem. That means this is the structure of the vascular bundle. And there are several cells sparsely distributed inside the cell. This is called spongy cell, or it is called spongy mesophyll. This spongy mesophyll, they are green cell which has carried out the photosynthesis. And this containing chloroplast in their cell. So they are taking the part of the photosynthesis also. Uh, then uh, at the lower side there is several internal structure we are observing here, and this structure is nothing but this is the stomata. The stomata are just placed inside, so it's called some kind of stomata because this plant is geophytic. Uh, it has the ji apu nuto kada. See this plant group is from the geophytic plants. Okay, so it shows such kind of the characteristics. Because to prevent the what is transpiration, to prevent the transpiration, 
and as there is transmission prevention, this is very important one. Okay, that means the stomata should be present at the lower surface of the leaf head. Yes. Uh, now the reproduction, and this is key part of the uh, plant life cycle. The reproduction, but the reproduction, reproduction that means when the life will be mature, it has to be continued. Each generation and for the continuity of the generation, they have to be propagated, they have to be reproduced, and so that this is mean for the production. Okay, so uh, the production is of two types one is the vegetative, and second one is the sexual type of reproduction. In vegetative type of reproduction, uh, it is by the means of bulbins, this is the structure called bulbins. You may see clearly. This is called the bulbils, which is found in also other plant. Okay, we have taken this example in the lecture. Uh, these are the uh, bulbils found in this plant at the base of the stem. See here is the structure also. These are the bulbils. Several bulbils are produced at the base of the stem, and they are capable. They are capable to produce new plant from this structure. But this plant will be identical to the its mother plant. It will be identical to this mother plant. Why? Because there is no fusion of any gametes, so that whatever the characteristics will be there, they are from this parent. Okay, they are from the parent, so there is no any kind of the there is no any kind of the combination of the character. Okay, uh, whatever the characteristics are there, they are from the parent. Uh, so when earlier when it formed, uh, it will be uh, of the new. Uh, what to say that? Uh, there are several the sprouting will be found, and when it will be fully formed, when there is a fully formation of the leaf, then after some time it will be detached from the plant, and it is capable, it is capable to produce new seedling or new plant after detachment of the plant. Yes. Uh, and the second type of the production is the sexual type of production. Uh, we are focusing this topic specially. Uh, see the different kind of the figures. In first image, this is the first image. Uh, these are the female reproductive structure called Megas Porophyll. Am I right? These are the Megas Porophyll. The second one is the mature seeds. These are the mature seeds of the plant. These are the ovules. These are the ovules present on this. Structure is a thing that is proven, but after reproduction, they will get mature and they will become from the reddish or brownish color or orange color. Then they will be fully mature. And this is the last image which shows the male cone. Next, this male cone is the combination of the various proven. Uh, see, this is the uh, male cone of the cypress plant. Uh, this plant is strictly dioecious. We know that these are the dioecious plant. That the male and female plants are different. The male plant produces the male cone, while the female plant will produces the megasporosis. Not the female cone because the male cone. We cannot say because the megasporosis is not arranged in the club shape. Okay, it is not a conical structure. It is not. And that means there is no any condensation. Individual megasporosis will form the individual uh, structure. And this is the leaf like structure. Uh, male strobilus or cone born singly at the apex of the trunk. When the plant will attain the maturity, uh, it will be up to 10 to 10 years. Okay, it will take up to 10 years to become mature. And when it will be mature, it will form the structure for male cone. And this is the axis of the plant. This is the axis or terminal portion of the plant. When it will mature, then it will form the male cone. This male cone is comprises with the uh, microsporophyll. Okay, it is comprised with the microsporophyll. Uh, next, see when we study this structure detail, then we can come to know that there are numerous microsporophylls are there or microsporophyll are arranged around the central axis. When we take the vertical section of this axis or this you know, main then uh, we may encounter there are several 
माइक्रोस्कोरोपी 